Good morning my dear students, welcome to physics class today. Today we are discussing about uh, uniform speed and non-uniform speed. Sama vegavum, asama vegavum anu nammalunna charchu chayinudu. Observe that in your screen, a screen lake on the noku. We can see a car is moving with a, a speed. Uh, there, uh, there is, there you can see the time intervals and also at the time uh, the car is reaching at points A, B, C, D, E and F are there. Now, let us complete the table. A table in the uh, table in the complete and uh, A to B distance travelled 20 meters. Okay. Time is 2 seconds. Okay. Then speed is equal to 20 meter by 2 seconds so 10 meter per second. Then next we can take B to C. B to C the same distance is travelled, distance travelled is 20 meters. Time 4 minus 2 it is again 2 seconds. So, the speed becomes 10 by sorry 20 by 2 10 meter per second. Then C to D, C to D again uh, distance is 20 meters, time is 6 minus 4 2 seconds. So, 20 by 2 it is again 10 meter per second. E to F also 10 meter per second. So, that is uniform speed. Then observe the next figure. There is also a car is moving, but uh, distance travelled A to B is 5 meter, B to C is uh, 15 meters and C to D is uh, 16 meter sorry 6 meters and D to E is uh, uh, 44 meter by 26 that is uh, 4, 8, 18 meters. Uh, again, uh, E to F is 6 meters. So, the distance travelled is different, but time uh, time interval becomes same 2 seconds. So, let us uh, observe that. Okay. A to B distance travelled is uh, 5 meters time is 2 second. So, speed becomes 5 by 2, 2.5 meter per second. B to C distance travel is 15 meters, time again 2 seconds, 15 by 2 become, becomes 7.5 meters. So, speed changed, speed is increased. Now, let us see C to D, C to D is the distance travel is 20 minus sorry 26 minus 20 that is 6 meters time again uh, 2. So, 6 by 2 becomes uh, 3 meter per second again speed is decreasing. Then uh, uh, try to find out the speed in between D and E and also E and F. You are getting uh, speed as different values. So, speed is changing why because time interval is equal, but the distance travel is different. So, this type of uh, speed is called non uniform speed. So, this is called what non uniform speed the distance travelled in equal intervals of time is different. So, it is non uniform speed, but in the first case the distance travelled in each interval of time is same. So, that is uniform speed. A child watching the speedometer of a vehicle realizing the meter was displaying different speeds at different times. How can the speed of vehicle be determined in such situation? See, you could see car and speedometer no come test the summing only with this the speed another can't give you. I'm going to get a little number and speed calculate to see the Let us calculate the average speed of the car using the data from the figure. Total distance travelled by the car A to E A to F is 50 meters. Then total time taken for travelling the distance is 10 second. So, average speed is equal to 
total distance traveled by time taken to travel the distance. So, here it becomes 50 meter by 10 seconds. So, 5 meter per second. You are now familiar with uniform and uniform non uniform speed. Then let us see what uniform and non uniform velocity is. Okay. The details of the journey of three cars are given below. Moon car then a details of the car A travelled 500 meter along a straight line, car B travelled 500 meters along a straight line. The distance covered by the car is unequal in equal intervals of time. Car C travelled 50 meters along a circular path. The car covered equal distance in equal intervals of time. Analyze the analyze these uh, and uh, write down answers to the following questions. So, this is the question is the velocity of car A is the same in each second why is the velocity of car A is same in each second no it is not covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. Also in the case of is the velocity of car B the same in each second? No, the velocity of car B also not in the same. Why? Because it is uh, not covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. Okay, uh, one more thing, but car A here uh, there is uh, the given car A is uh, covering equal distances in equal intervals of time, but B is covering not non not equal distances in equal intervals of time. So, A is uh, in uniform velocity, but car B is not in uniform velocity. If the, dis the direction of motion changes the velocity also changes. So, in the case of car C, it covers equal distance in equal intervals of time, but the direction is changing. So, it, it has uh, its velocity is always changing. So, it is uh, not uniform velocity, it is non uniform velocity. Then one more thing how we can write uh, a body has uniform velocity if it covers equal distance in the same direction in equal intervals of time. So, it is very very important a body has uniform velocity if it covers equal dis displacements in the same direction in equal intervals of time. Above velocity uniform agonamangil other Sanjari ke menam adu oru second ilum alagal oru unit time ilum sanjari kena duvira vum same ayiri kena. Dilay adangile vanna if the amount or the direction is changing we can say that the velocity is changing. That is why the next table it is you watch that carefully car A it is uniform velocity. Why because it travels equal distances and also it is in a particular direction. Then uh, neither the magnitude nor the direction changes. Then car B it is non uniform why because it, it is non uniform velocity why because it not covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. So, we can say that its magnitude of is same, but direction is changing. Then in the car case of car C, sorry uh, in the case of car B magnitude is uh, changing, but direction is not changing. But in the case of car C it is also non uniform velocity, why because magnitude of velocity does not changes, but direction changes why because it is in the circular motion. 
circular path. So, we must remember that a body has uniform velocity, it must have uniform magnitude of velocity and also it must have the same direction. If any one of this magnitude or the direction changes, velocity becomes non-uniform. Okay, thank you.